if you are told to make uh, three options uh, business slide in powerpoint generally this is how we make uh, we just type option one and uh, the detailed text likewise we do two option two and option three uh, so this is uh, a very simple slide uh, there's no harm doing in this kind of slides but uh, when we have time why can't we make it more uh, creative so i have converted this slide from this to this so you can see here i've got the three options uh, i've just put three rectangles uh, with a black uh, background and some icons i've added at the below so uh, always try to make some slides which looks very creative and always get the attention from the audience so let's start how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide and change the background to a gradient background i have used the aqua and a sky blue color then go to insert shapes from the rectangles select this one which is rectangle top corners one rounded and one sniped just draw maybe this much size and i'm going to rotate i will just say flip horizontal and you can see here there are two small orange points so for this orange point i can just drag it outside so it becomes less curved and this one i'm going to increase and making maybe this much size and if you want you can increase the the size maybe this much size we need and then go to shape outline and make it no outline so let me just uh, move it a little bit up and increase the size some more okay uh, then go to insert shapes uh, select a rectangle or uh, draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline and for the time being give some different color right mouse click go to format shape and increase the transparency level here let me just zoom in now can you see here i'm just going to place uh, this let me just increase the size i'm going to place exactly onto this corner of uh, the rectangle can you see here i will just adjust it so that it touches the corner all right now you can see here now i'm just going to select these two by holding the shift key ctrl d to duplicate it and select this rectangle first and then this blue rectangle under format merge shapes you can select intersect you can see here you got this shape now so let me just delete this and this one i will bring it here and place it here right mouse click go to format shape i will remove the transparency and again zoom in and you have to make sure that this is properly aligned yeah this look, this looks good it's properly aligned then i'm going to select this to give the shadow effect press ctrl d to duplicate one more and i'm going to give a, a black color and go to effects under soft edges increase the size can you see here and just select this put it here and go to format send back now can you see here we have got uh, some shadow effect here now if you need you can just change the color of this also for example i'll just select the gradient fill so by default the background color has come so I can just select some nice colors, some light and dark blue colors or dark gray colors. And you can just type, select which one you need, linear or how you need, whichever. For example, let me just select maybe this one. Or I will select maybe this or whatever. So I don't need the black to be on top so i have to spend some time yeah so this is okay now once this is done i'm just going to add the 
the numbers and the text here. To add the text, you can go to insert text box and just type uh, 0, 1, center aligned. I'll give white font and change the font as per your choice. In this case, I'm going to set century gothic. I'll put it here, increase the size. And then you can add the title. And for this also, I'm going to give the same font. And make sure whenever you're making a presentation, uh, keep only one font throughout the presentation or max of two fonts. Don't go for multiple fonts. So let me just add, make it bold. And I'm going to give the same color as of the background which I have used, uh, sorry, the, the rectangle triangle. And then go to insert text box. You can add your detail text here. Let me just select this. If you want, you can make it center aligned. I will give a off white color the same font I'm going to use reduce the font size and then go to insert icons but these icons are available only uh, from the the latest version I think I believe from 2013 onwards or 2016 onwards I'm not sure but if you're using some older versions then you need to go to this particular site www.thenoun projecd.com so you can just download the icons from this particular site so let me just go to insert icons and for this you need to have an active internet connections you have got a big list so let me just select one insert and I'm going to give the same color graphic fill the same color and I will reduce the height from point one from one inch to point seven inch I can click here and just place it here so you can see here almost uh, our design is ready let me just give some shadow effect go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle something like this shape outline no outline and you can give some gradient fill again gradient fill i can select the linear select the one and give some black color and direction select the direction this one and this color i can make it fully transparent but before that right mouse click edit point I can increase the a shadow effect something like this okay and select this uh, the transparency I'm going to make it fully so you got this shadow effect here so the next one is select all or press ctrl A to select all ctrl G to group it ctrl D to duplicate it just this is my second and this is my third again select all right mouse click ungroup it and then you can just sorry i have grouped by mistake ungroup it make sure that it is aligned go to format align top and then you can do the ungrouping right mouse click group ungroup and then change the number to this will be three and then you can change these icons also and change this color to some other nice colors let me just select maybe this color and for this i'm going to select this color so this also the text i'm going to go with this color and for this I will select this color so 
this you need to change you can see our design is ready now that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye